So good evening and welcome. So good evening. So the reason I'm here, I've literally just arrived. So I've just had a walk up from uh, Hard Knot. Indeed, Hard Knot is there, just behind you, which I'll show you there. And we've got amazing views again tonight. I'll tell you what, I am blessed this spring and summer. It's absolute privilege. So we've got some sun just about to appear, so I might have to cut this segment short. But So I've, uh, I was up Grey Friar uh, last time. And the time before that, I was up Coniston Old Mine, which you can see behind that. And each time I go to one of those fells, there is something in the way what's stopping me getting this glorious view here. But not tonight, because from studying the landscapes, good studying the maps, I've worked out this could be a potentially good vantage point to allow me to photograph these gorgeous Scarfell massive behind. So we've got Scarfell and Scarfell Pike behind me there. And it's the longest day of the year today, so June the 21st, and I really should have brought my tent because it's not going to be dark for long and I would imagine it could be a good sunrise location as well. But anyway, I've got myself here in plenty of time and uh, it's another wonderfully clear night. I can see Hesham behind you over to the in the Irish Sea and we can see right over Rhinos to the Langdale Fells there and uh, the Coniston Fells, like I say, and we can see the Isle of Man in the distance. It's a wonderful evening. And we've got this wonderful cloud. Look at that behind me, absolute wonderful. So I'm doing my best, as you'll tell, to compose myself. It would be quite easy to get a bit hysterical at this moment, but now I'm going to hold it together. And we're going to make off a few panoramic images here and a long lens. All I need to make this the perfect evening is a break in that cloud over there. You can maybe see there's some rays coming through over there, but I just want a little little bit of a gap and a burst of sunlight, as I always say, an Indiana Jones style shaft of light. To come through there. If I can do that, then it'll be three amazing evenings around this locality in the last week or so, and it's an absolute privilege to be here. So I'll have a wander around, see if I can make find some foreground interest to uh, add to my image. I'll pray to the cloud gods because it's not the sun; he's doing what he always does. It's the clouds what we need to be our friends. So uh, let's hope the clouds move out the way when we get some glorious light here. Okay, so I'm just taking some test shots to uh, to make sure I've got my angles right and my composition and my settings and everything just for when the, the good light does come. You've got to believe, haven't you? So I've put on my 135 millimeter and I'm just uh, got my tripod nice and level. I'm taking the three shot, three stopped bracketed exposures and I'm panning around to uh, see if I can get all the details in the foreground to the uh, the distance there. So the clouds getting a bit thicker there over there now and uh, it's looking maybe a, a little bit unlikely at the moment but you never know and uh, I've got nowhere to be so I'm just going to hang around and uh, and see what happens. Absolutely fantastic evening for it. It's uh, just need 10 seconds of light <laughs> and I'll uh, it'll make my evening won't it okay so my first image from this wonderful location high on uh, hard knot here and uh, just like I say just a, an establishing shot really just to make sure I've got everything lined up and, and correct and waiting for the good light to happen like I say you've got to believe so there we go we've broken the seal now it's looking glorious down there in the Eskdale Valley the sun is finding its way through there and uh, illuminating that wonderful valley but not so much over here although it looks to be illuminating just a little bit on uh, on the flanks there so it could be coming and we're in position and we're ready absolutely fantastic look at that the highest mountains in England and I'm ready yeah, we're getting some light coming through there now. Let's hope that improves. And then just take a look down here. Absolutely wonderful. A couple of guys camping there. Gave them a wave earlier. Fantastic. 
don't know if you'll make out the Isle of Man just in the horizon there. Anyway, I'm going to get up, um, get on, and I'm going to shoot this ray here because I can see it on the video camera. So it must be there, and I'll uh, hopefully produce something with that, and let's just hope it gets a bit better. Okay, in the glorious Eskdale Valley, this is a wonderful place, absolutely fantastic. Look at those dotted around little white buildings, so much free space and open air, absolutely fantastic, especially from this high vantage point where we can see out to the Irish Sea there and the Isle of Man in the distance. I thought it was uh, it was looking glorious while this low light was just illuminating the valley sides there and... Uh, this image maybe doesn't do it justice, but this one where I've stitched two images together there, you can see a bit of a wider perspective there. And it's, um, I just love this warm glow light where it um, casts this wonderful long shadows on the, uh, well, long warm shadows on the landscape, really. The, I find images like that's extremely appealing. But yeah, it's, uh, I could look at that for a long while. It's great how you can see the hills just seem to disappear there. And we've got all that flat pasture land over there to the sea. It's, um, it's a truly remarkable getting up a bit of height. Really good. So I'm getting lucky again with the light tonight. And uh, it's paid off my, uh, <laughs> my persistence in trying to come out again this, uh, this night to make this image. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really lucky this evening. That is, uh, that is wonderful. It's very changeable so I'm gonna have to I'm having to get on and move fast I, I'm actually wishing I had my wider lens on because this is as you'll hear in the background there is taking some doing I want a huge panorama from here um, and I think well my thought was that this would give me that but it's slowing me down work-wise but if the Sun stays out I'll be all right and I'll be able to swap over but look at that what a fantastic scene that is Okay, so this is um, this is my new take on the uh, the wider all scene panorama, if you will, where we've got this wonderful burst of light now coming over on the left left hand side of the scene. It's uh, I would never usually make a panorama this wide, but I think given the uh, the geometry we've we've got in this location where it's uh, wrapping right the way around there from that almost like semi-circular arc all the way over to uh, Crinkle Crags. It was worth capturing this ultra-wide angle scene. And this slide's quite interesting as well, because what this shows is the first image what I made upon arrival, which I showed you earlier, and then the latest scene when I've waited for the light. So of, there's a little bit of difference in the perspective, uh, or the, the uh, width of them, but you do get to see what the effect has on 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 the image there so you can see these rays of light coming over the top of the fells there and almost like a spotlight illuminating up just below bow fell and crinkle crags on the right of the scene quite nice old man now old man so i'm uh I'm enjoying some uh, wide angle lens photography this evening. This is uh, a bit unusual for me to be uh, to be using my 21mm. It's uh, massively wide, a lot wider than I'm used to, but it's uh, it's providing me with quite an interesting challenge actually, so I'm enjoying it. And uh, so I'm just getting down really low here and I'm picking out these grasses what you can almost touch in the foreground there and then just getting my wonderful view over to see the silhouette of the Isle of Man over on the, the distance there. So yeah, just enjoying that. I've taken a few looking that way as well. It's all very subtle and subdued over there now, which I'll, uh, I'll continue to uh, look around these undulated rocks on the summit here and we'll have a look. So yeah, very enjoyable how uh, once, the, once the, the light's kind of gone, I mean, there's still a lovely colour on the horizon there, but once it's kind of gone, the direct illumination it gives you a bit more time to uh, to work the scene and I'm, I'm really enjoying that actually so I'll continue to uh, to look around this 3d puzzle and we'll we'll see what jumps out okay so I am actually delighted with this image this is wonderful for me I'm very very pleased with this so we can see again to the left there we've got uh, Devoke Water the very top left corner if you will on the land and then coming down to Westdale and then the valley of Estdale itself kind of weaves below us here, just below the ridge there. And we've got this wonderful pile of rocks and the, the dotted rocks. Really good. And it all comes to uh, comes to a head there with the Scarfell range and this wonderful 
light coming through absolutely delighted with that really pleased and then this is a portrait orientation looking back down over the Estale Valley and out to sea again wonderful with the clouds and the, the light in the clouds these wonderful rocks in the foreground as well I just love a portrait image you know <laughs> and that is a really pleasing image for me I'm delighted with that one So it's quite interesting uh, making images with the ultra wide. I'm uh, quite enjoying it to be honest. It's uh, it's not something I do that often shoot with the uh, really wide lenses, but prefer the uh, the 45 millimeter for my landscape work. But yeah, a bit different tonight. There's a lots of uh, interesting rocks around this summit here. So uh, obviously we've got a fantastic backdrop and a little bit of color in the sky. So no better place to uh, to have a practice. Okay, so I'll uh, run you through some of the images what I've uh, just taken around this summit now that all the direct illumination's gone. It's uh, it's quite nice actually when you've uh, not got the pressure of uh, of the light. It's all very subtle and subdued now, but I think I might swap over to uh, my 135 and just pick out some intimate little details within the scene because everything's looking really quite nice now with uh, this very subtle light like we've shown in previous vlogs where you can get this uh, almost like a shadowless environment it can make quite painterly looking scenes really so I think I'll do that next and uh, and then see how we go it's um, very orange over there there's a very vibrant strip of orange on the horizon but it doesn't seem to be to be growing there's a huge body of cloud just above it so I was hoping it would illuminate but it just doesn't look like it's going to going to ignite tonight but never mind I've had a wonderful evening so far okay so a series of these wide portrait images now and uh, just experimenting really and I thought they were worth sharing with you just to give you a bit of an idea of this location so we've got some wonderful sky going on there in, um, behind the western fells and we can see how dark the Scarfell range is now in the uh, in the distance there but these wonderful uh, rocks here just bring the foreground up up to life really and just anchor the image like I've said give it some place I think that's important with a wide angle lens as well because you you know to try and fill the frame with interest and look for lines what your eye can follow and lead you through into the image like in this one where we start off in the bottom corner going up up the the ridge there up to the higher mountains but there's no better leading lines than this this is the summit now and look at that wonderful diagonal shaft of rock going through the scene there absolutely fantastic it's um really one to work there we can see the summit there with that wonderful glow behind it but yeah that's uh, that's a really exciting composition for me that one okay so let me show you what i'm uh, looking at here through the camera hopefully you can uh, see that nice and clear there so i've been stood up here on the summit there and i've cleared all my things off and i've moved down and if you notice these wonderful stripes of rock which are uh, running through the well they're running across the the top of here and the summit and then we've obviously got the uh, the Scarfell range there in the background and I thought Do you know what that's gonna make a nice uh, a nice looking scene there so hopefully you can see what I've done there so my grid lines are on for reference and I've positioned the little cairn there up on the uh, top third corner and we've got these lovely rocks coming through. I'm imagining a panor panoramic crop of that as well. I think that could be quite interesting. But um, yeah, like I say, it's amazing what you see when uh, when you just slow down a little bit and uh, stop rushing and take your time. I should have got here a bit earlier, perhaps, and I would have uh, I would have made this. But maybe I'll just have to come again. So what I'll do as well is if I step back a bit, you can see. It maybe gets a little bit better as well when you step back. So it's my, the only problem I'll have is I'm going downhill here now. So um, I'm going to lose the relationship between the rocks and the foreground like we've seen in previous videos. The height can be quite important when it comes to, uh, when it comes to composition. So I think this is maybe a little bit of a sweet spot just as the cairn is breaking the horizon there. Look at that wonderful colour just behind it. And then we pan across. So yeah, 
let's have a look from this side I think we I think we lose I think we need to keep this cairn here um, quite close to the mountain so we do that by moving kind of to my left so maybe I should uh, move over to the left a bit more and I can take that look how this this one rock here um, just leads cuts right through the scene and then we've got the uh, the cairn at the top so that's quite nice I'll have a I'll have a look at composing that one and uh, maybe make that as well but yeah it's uh, it's shaping out to be a wonderful evening even without any direct illumination okay and just a development over the previous images here where we've got a landscape orientation now and again these wonderful rocks so what a treat these rocks are for a landscape photographer who likes foreground interest like me so as you can see there I've uh, I've positioned the uh, the cairn there up on the left hand third corner and I'm trying to get into location here where I can use these wonderful rocks as a as a nice leading to try and uh, take us up to those wonderful mountains in the background so yeah really nice puzzle and just making these micro adjustments all around the area to try and fill the parts of the frame I guess with um, with foreground detail and and these rocks but you just can't beat these diagonal lines naturally forming lines in the landscape what really help the eye move through the scene and obviously the main focal point there it all takes us up to the uh, the summit cairn there where we pick up the ridge of the uh, the, the Scarfell range there and that wonderful colour yeah really rewarding image to make and then again looking at a much wider crop there you can see how I've just squashed the image a bit there and it just brings more focus into the uh, the cairn and obviously like I said in, in the video there I was trying to line all these things up and it's it's quite the enjoyable task really when you're out in the field and obviously added a bit of time constraints with the sun setting and the light and it can, it can be quite exciting I guess so yeah I'm very pleased with how these images have come out and certainly a location to return to in the future so there we go whoa what a frantic little shoot that was and still is really I've not 100% given up but it's looking like there's a huge bank of cloud now which you should hopefully be able to see behind me there you can see a bit of color on the horizon it's uh, it's really nice and subtle the color everywhere but there's no real kind of direct illumination on any of the land I can see now and I can see a long way in every direction so it's uh, yeah it's very muted I mean there's a bit of uh, high and medium cloud so you never know for sunset but it's uh, it's the land I really want the uh, the sun to illuminate to bring it up and these shafts of light coming through now I feel quite excited actually because I think I might have got something pretty decent but I was fumbling around and it was um, you know it, it felt rushed and it felt um, well it, it was rushed you know I got here and uh, I, I literally had like two minutes to set up and then it just suddenly happened and then it was gone but I'm so grateful that, that I was here to witness it and I think I've captured it and I can't wait to see uh, I've not looked on the LCD or anything I'm I'm waiting until I get back to the studio to have a look at them but um, exciting really really nice up here as well I'm uh, very much looking forward to uh, coming back here in different times of the year as well because it's obviously quite difficult when the sun sets in front of you it would be nice if it was to set to uh, to the side which is obviously over there to the uh, further down to the west so yeah we'll uh, we'll see how the images have come out and, and go from there it's been uh, it's been an odd one um, the last two shoots I've been on have been quite protracted you know quite long quite long times been out and lots of time to think and make decisions and have a look at things all right, you know, with the, the fell behind you there, Great Friar, when I was up the top of there, it was all very quick and, uh, you know, just on the summit. But I, I felt like I was prepared and I was, my vision was turned on, if you will, you know, and I was ready. Whereas tonight, it's literally like, you know, you're, you're maxing your heart rate out getting up here and then all of a sudden, bang, there it is. It, you get on with it, you know, and uh, I think I've done a good job, but it feels a bit kind of, have I, haven't I? I'm a bit unsure at the minute but it's a good feeling it's a good feeling and i'm hoping that uh, things have come out anyway let me know what you think of the images in the uh, comments below let me know if you've uh, been up this part of the, the lake district before and what you think of it it's fantastic i've had a good three nights up here in the last few well last week i guess and it's been lovely it's uh, i need to pick my next location now don't I? that's what i seem to be doing 
but yeah really uh, really rewarding very enjoyable and certainly um, a bit more depth to the portfolio hopefully Anyway, I'll leave it there for now. I'm just going to have uh, 10 or 15 minutes just to sit and take it all in. And, um, and then I'll make my way back. So thanks again for joining me here on my channel. And uh, I wish you a good week with your own photography. All the best for now. Bye bye.